So I just watched a movie called Crazy Eights. It's part of the After Dark Film Festivals. Films? <laughs> it's about a group of friends who come together after years of being apart. So you kind of have the Stephen King It vibe. So they come together after so many years of being apart and one of their friends gets hurt. They end up in a mysterious house, which in turn transforms into an old building. <clears throat> And this is where the movie gets a bit weird. They are basically stuck in this building for the duration of the movie. And you have flashbacks of a little girl ghost that have something to do with the group of friends past. So. And you have these disturbing flashbacks that reminded me of like MK Ultra type experiments and whatnot. So very creepy. So you're trying to figure out, you know, what brought the friends back together after all these years? What is their connection to the odd building and this uh, seemingly, the seemingly dead girl that's haunting them throughout the movie. So, the movie's about 82 minutes long. I really liked, I liked how the main cast had chemistry together. I bought them as an estranged group of friends reuniting years later. I really liked Tracy Lords and Dina Meyer. Tracy Lords, of course, is known for Stephen King's The Tommyknockers, Excision, and other films. Dina Meyer is known for the Saw films, Piranha, Lifetime movies, and a lot of other movies. They had really good chemistry together, too, also. So, you have to really pay attention to the movie, otherwise you wouldn't know the connection between the friends and the building. So I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to spoil it because it's the main plotline of the whole movie, so I'm not trying to be obtuse. <clears throat> but once they get to the building, it's pretty much an isolated movie. They're pretty much in there for the duration of the rest of the film. So you get limited interaction between them and what's stuck in the building with them. So towards the end, though, the whole movie comes together and it made sense for me. But my main issue is after you get this build up of why are they in the building? Why are they being attacked? You know, why have they been reunited after years and years? The movie just kind of ends. It just ends. That's it. And you're kind of left to wonder um, what happened to certain characters. And I don't know if it's how they wanted to end it. I don't know if it was a budgetary thing. I don't know if they just wanted to make the ending ambiguous, but you know, it felt really annoying after an 82 minute runtime of building up the movie to this ambiguous, I'm sorry, the ambiguous conclusion. So Crazy Eights, it's on Tubi. It's all right for a one time watch. Um, I didn't hate it. I thought it was pretty good in spots. I just 
thought the ending could have been a little tighter. So that's it for now. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, also with my co-host, my furry cat, in the back here. Archie. And that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this review. And, ugh, getting kind of fat. Just bought this tank top yesterday. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. And I'll catch you on the flip side.